Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here. I hope you're all having a great week. I'm here tonight with a project for you on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And it's such a miserable rainy day outside today that I decided to come up into my workshop and, and have a play around and I've, I've made another project so it was quite a productive evening. So I'm just going to move this out here, out the road for the moment and I'll bring the project in with what I've made. Now I might need to put this in sideways because it's so big. What I've made, I hope you can see this, is a gift bag. Um, it's got seam binding handles and I've used the rosette trim. Let's see if I can show this off to its advantage. I'll leave it there like that just now. There's rosette trim all the way around the outside edge and what I've done is I've used extra large eyelets um, to reinforce the holes and of course then they're covered up by the rosette trim so you're getting a nice tidy finish. Um, then I made a little tag and it's stuck on, well it's not stuck on but it's it's on with seam binding and this is a Sizzix die tag and what I've done is I took one of the rosette trims off the off the ribbon and stuck it onto the the covered uh, chipboard and then I put a, a ring of uh, pearls all the way around so that's the the gift tag. Then what I've done is I have taken um, I've used gardenias and cherry blossoms on this and it starts off kind of round this, just this one edge and what it does is it comes up in a band up here and then they just kind of scatter out up towards the rosette trim at the top. Now it's a fairly big box, it is um, two inches deep at the bottom and two inches deep at the sides and it is eight inches across by ten inches tall it's fairly fairly big um, and it's just a lovely gift bag so if you were thinking about this would be perfect if you were going to a wedding or maybe a baby shower or a christening if it was a baby boy and obviously you could change the colour to pink, yellow, lemon, mint just whatever you fancy um, and uh, I also used some little pearls oops, in focus some pearls dotted in um, just round about the flowers just to give it that little extra special sparkle and uh, and this, this side's more or less plain there we go, it's focusing again so a really nice uh, idea if you want to hand embellish a, a box your own gift bag to give to your friends and you can alter it to to suit um, most different sizes, you could add it half that size. The, one, the golden rule is always have your sides and your bottom the same width. So if you make the side two inches, the bottom has to be two inches. If you make the side three, four inches, the bottom has to be three, four inches, and so on and so forth. But I just thought that was a nice little project, and you know, if you were maybe had a summer wedding to go to, you could uh, make your own gift bag. So I'm going to head off just now because I've got to go and do the draw for the um, the cupcake box filled with flowers and uh, and I'll see you all soon. So um, just before I go I forgot to mention for all your flowery needs hop on over to Wild Orchid Crafts and to check out their YouTube team YouTube channel to see what all the rest of the design team members are up to um, and I'll see you soon now <laughs>